What's up, folks? Today we're going to be taking a look at the game Delicious. Now, in Delicious, you are going to be picking fruits and vegetables, and you're going to be placing them in these different containers to try to score the most amount of points. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can score in this game, so let's check it out. Okay, so in this game, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be filling up these different containers, and you've got two sections. You've got the vegetable section here, and then you have the fruit section here. In the vegetable section, you're going to have a bottom section and then a top section. And the fruit section is basically all in itself. You're mainly going to be scoring with rows and columns in this section here. And in this section, you're going to be working your way up uh, to get the most points. Um, now, there's three sections here as well. There is a section that says unequal, which means you're going to be putting uh, all different vegetables in this section. This one is pears, so a pair of lettuce and a pair of pe peppers, for example. And then you have one that is equal, which means all of the vegetables are going to be equal here. And as you are able to fill these up, you're going to be able to get a higher score. Um, now, in this, you're going to basically be trying to score with the rows and the columns. Uh, let's say you were able to get four in a row over here. If it was four different fruits, you would score two points. If it was all the same fruit, you would score four points. And the same goes with columns when you're going that way. Uh, you can score this amount of points as well. So you're basically trying to pick out what vegetables you want, what fruits you want, and then trying to manipulate them into these different sections here to try to score the most points. So anyway, you've got different vegetables. You've got lettuce, mushrooms, onions, peppers, broccoli, carrots, blueberries, figs, grapes, strawberries, and watermelons. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be drawing these on their, uh, onto the paper as you get them. So this just kind of gives you a little illustration example that you can use. Also, you're going to have a bag that's going to have full of tokens on here, and you're going to just draw them here from the bag like so. And the card is going to tell you which side it's going to go on. There's a fruit side, which is this, and then there is a tool side, which is that. So right now we've got the fruit side. These arrows here are going to represent where this, where this vegetable is going to go. This one's going to go here into the upper section, as the arrow indicates, and this one's going to go in the lower section, as the arrow indicates. And the fruit basically is going to be the ones you'll be able to choose from for this section. Also, in the lower right section of the card, you will see a shape along with the fruit. This will tell you which shape in the fruit section that that particular fruit will go. Over here, these are what you're going to be able to do as far as your plant choices. You can choose one vegetable or fruit from the top or the bottom. You can swap the positions, meaning you could uh, put this on top, put this on the bottom, and then you could choose one of them from there. You could choose both of uh, the vegetables or the fruits, but you would have to put them in the top and the bottom, respectively. And then this one means to anywhere, so you could take both of these and put them in the top section, for example. So let's just say I decided I was going to go ahead and choose pepper, and I just was going to only choose pepper. I would go ahead and mark this off, and then I would draw pepper somewhere. And again, you're going to be moving from the bottom up. So let's just say I drew a pepper here somewhere like so. And that would be my turn. Now, let's just say I was decided I was going to pick a fruit. Um, so I would go ahead and say, okay, I've got a fig here. Where do I want to put the fig? Let's just say I'm going to put the fig right here somewhere. And I just draw a fig, which is not going to be very good because I'm drawing a left hand, but that's okay. There's my fig. After both players have gone ahead and uh, chosen what they want, you're going to go ahead and put this in a compost pile. And then you're going to draw two more cards and two more tokens. So here's one that's got a tool on it, and that's a shovel. And let's say, say this has a fruit on it, so this will be a strawberry. Now, in order to use the tools, what you're going to have to do is you're going to look here on your score sheet here and see if there's a tool in a certain box. You will be able to put the vegetable into that section, again, so long as you've already met the requirements here. So you could, if you had all these, you could put the vegetable here. Now, in this case, it could be any vegetable. You could place anything that you want to when it comes to these tool cards. And the same applies here. You've got the different tools. Again, if you have, if you end up picking the tool, you can do the same thing with the fruit as well. Right. On top of this, you've also got wild spots that you can use. Um, fruits are over here and vegetables are over here. For the fruit wild spots, if you sketch a fruit over here in the bonus spot, you're going to score one point at the end of, it, of the game for every instance this fruit is in your planter. So if I drew a watermelon over here and I had like two watermelons, I would score two points. With this one, this will allow me to immediately put any one fruit into any one type of space in the planter. So if I had, say, a watermelon over here, I could put a watermelon anywhere over there. Now, the same goes with the vegetables. If I put a vegetable over here, um, that's going to count for two points. So if I put a broccoli here or something, that would be two points per broccoli that I had up in here. And then with this, it works the same way. If I uh, ended up drawing a broccoli here, I could put that broccoli anywhere Again, so long as it fits the requirements of the planters. So anyway, what you're going to do is you're just going to be uh, taking these cards, choosing them, 
discarding them and then uh, drawing out more cards and more of the tokens. And you're just going to keep on building up on this until you end up running out of cards. And what you're going to do is you're going to count up your points. Whichever sections you completed in the vegetable section, you'll go ahead and score the amount of points that's to the side. For the fruits, you will score for each row and column that you completed. And you'll just simply follow the score guide on the bottom to determine how many points you got. You'll also score for your bonuses. Also, you will get bonuses. Uh, if you are the first person to fill one of these, you are going to get a one point bonus and you'll just go ahead and put a one there and mark off the check mark. Um, if you end up filling all of these planters in either the upper or lower section, you're going to get the honey card and this is going to be worth an extra three points. And whoever has the most amount of points is going to win. Well, Pencil First Games is one of my favorite game companies. They make these games that are very relaxing, um, but they also make games that remind me a lot of Solitaire. Um, where you're just basically picking things in this case and you're trying to make rows and columns of the fruits and you're trying to basically figure out what you want to do with the vegetables whether you want to go on the top on the bottom if you want to take one of them if you want to take both of them so you got a lot of different options here and it can be a little bit tricky trying to figure out where to place everything and then you have the wilds as well and the tools so they give you a lot of ways that you can try to place your fruits and place your vegetables and you're also trying to figure out uh, the best ways to score them this is a very enjoyable game pencil first makes some really really good games. So would I recommend it? I would definitely recommend it. I would definitely recommend checking out Pencil First Games. Uh, all right, guys, that's my review of Delicious. We'll catch you later. Keep on gaming.